Good morning, morning Richmond High, High School. School. Thank, Thank you for being, being Ram TV. Today is Thursday, October 9th. Tomorrow is Red Day. Here's what's happening at Richland High School. Today, Thursday, October 9th, a, a day, purple day, 545 dry land workout, 9 a.m. tennis, girls varsity at D6 doubles, 4 p.m. football boys, 8th versus Greater Johnstown, 5.30 p.m. open gym, 6 o'clock p.m. boys, soccer boys junior high versus North Star, 6 p.m. volleyball girls junior varsity at Bedford High School, 7 p.m. dry land workout, 7 p.m. pink out night, 7 p.m. boys varsity at Greater Johnstown, 7.15 p.m. Soccer girls junior high versus North Star, 7.15 volleyball girls varsity at Bedford High School. Today's lunch menu is Texas Twisted Cheese. Student dismissal times are as followed. Thursday, October 9th, junior varsity and, J varsity and JV volleyball, 4.30. Boys va varsity soccer, 5.45. Any murals today, seventh grade line soccer game will be between will be between team two and team four. Permission slips. Students attending the leadership conference and health quest are reminded that all permission slips are due into the guidance office by Friday, October tenth. At junior high girls soccer, the junior high lady Rams defeated Cambria Heights six to nothing last night. All twenty five girls contributed to the big win. Striker slash midfield McKenna Cobra scored four goals. Striker Kendall Barron scored two and had two assists. Midfielder Lexi Westner, Katie Sherman, and Katie Griffith each had an assist. Defenders Didi <laughs> Sierhar, <laughs> Becca Brody. Grace Simeone and Paige Gifried help to hold Cambria Heights scoreless. Goalkeeper Cassidy Orr and Brooke Fetterman combined for the shutout outstanding win. Junior High Lady Rams. The girls will play North Star tonight at 7:15 on Hurlinger Field. RPAC attention theater musical tech students. If you did not attend the the theater. Sir certification class last week. There will be another class offered Thursday, October 16th from 7 to 8 in the theater. Adjust, adjust your schedule now to be able to attend. It is mandatory that all students participating in theater activities be certified. Senior High Forensics. Attention all members of the Senior High Forensics team. Practice will be held after school in the library every Tuesday and Thursday until 4 p.m. Come when you can. All right, just said, create real impact contest. RHS says promoting the Create Real Impact Contest, which is offered by Impact Teen Drivers Fund to promote our ongoing commitment to providing awareness and education regarding the dangers of the distracting, distracted driving and poor decision making. The contest process runs until Friday, October 10, 2014, so we need to start now. Go to the createrealimpact.com and submit your video, music, creative writing, or artwork. Then go to the RHS SAD Facebook and let us know of your entry. Key Club students, starting this month, Key Club will be sponsoring giveaways to show our appreciation to the student body. This month's theme is Spooktacular, and one lucky winner from each lunch period will be picked. The first winner will be announced on Friday, October 10th. Song works, song writing. Contest Julius Eckenroth and Brianna Appley have been selected to compete in the Song Work Songwriting Contest tonight at the Grand Hall at 6 p.m. To con or the concert includes a meal for $12, or you can come with the con to the concert at 7 p.m. for $5. Come hear some great original music by your classmates. Boys Tennis. Anyone who is interested in joining Boys Tennis team this year should stop at Mr. Johnson's room B115 this week. This is necessary in order to get names and information to make a winter schedule and allow players off-season access to Northbrook Tennis Center. Hashtag winning. Sad meeting. There will be a sad meeting on Friday during homeroom in the cafeteria. 
winter sports signups, winter sports signups have begun in the athletic office. Winter sports include varsity boys basketball, girls basketball, boys swimming, girls swimming, wrestling, junior high, boys basketball, girls basketball, wrestling. All participants in the winter sports must be must complete paperwork. Congratulations, junior high boys soccer. The junior high boys soccer team was at it again yesterday afternoon at the Highlanders of Cambria Heights. Right from the start, the team set the pace with perfectly placed passes, cla classically creative crosses, and shockingly showing shots. By the end of the first half, the score was 3-0 with Tim Bone shots, Isaac Tedrone, and Nick Patrick all cat cackling tactically. tactically tickling the twine. <laughs> the Rams came out in the second half with the same ferocious fury as they did in the first. Marcus Irwin came up with came up big with his own gratifying glorious goal. Joey Joey, Joe says no, Baker and Zach big time Sh Schwartz combined for a shutout behind a dazzling dependable defense. The Rams will take on the Cougars of North Star at six on Hurling Hurlinger Field. And now for the weather. Good morning, Ram Nation. I'm Noah Glackey, Ram TV Chief Meteorologist. The high temperature for today is 59 degrees and the low is 42. It will rain later on, though, so if you are going out between 6 to 9, maybe, I'd bring your jacket because there's that possibility of rain. Have a great day. Go Rams. How do you set up a space party? You plan it. But um. Hi, I'm here with your current events for October 9th, 2014. Protests started up in St. Louis after a police officer fatally shot a man Wednesday night. Groups of citizens gathered at the location of this new shooting nearly two months after the death of Mike Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. So far, the identities of the officer and man have not been released. Leaders from Hong Kong's government announced that plans to discuss compromises with the student protesters have been canceled in reaction to the comments made by student representatives. Meanwhile, students continue to gather in the city to protest. A new video from Australia revealed a vicious fight between two kangaroos. Onlookers are unaware of what was at the root of this brawl, but unfortunately officials say this is just one of the many cases of rising marsupial on marsupial violence in the state. That's it for your world news. See you tomorrow. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Bailey, who has a little bit of information about the Courtyard Groundhog's killing. Mr. Bailey, do you, uh, do you know anything about this killing? Well, there's been a lot of speculation about it, Noah, but one of the things that, that I'm really starting to believe and starting to piece together after all this, I believe that the Sasquatch had something to do with this groundhog. Okay, thank you very much. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Wintering, who says he saw the Sasquatch out the window by his room yesterday, ninth period. Mr. Wintering? Well, it was later in the afternoon. Um, halfway through ninth period, I happened to notice this blur going by my window. And I felt sure it was the Squatch. I really wasn't positive that it wasn't Mr. Jones, though. But I think it was the Squatch. Yeah, it probably was. I would think. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Go. Recordings. Oh my. Have a great day. <laughs> Just